I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Okay, uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to the October 2nd, 2017 uh, Pembroke Board of Selectmen meeting and we'll start with a pledge of allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, one thing I'd like to start with, I feel uh, uh, pretty bad about uh, Las Vegas, um, you know, the terrorist incident that took place uh, out in Las Vegas, which um, uh, 90 plus people died, and uh, there's another 500 and something that are that are injured, and don't know whether some of those might not make it or not. So we could just have a uh, a quick moment of silence for the people out there. Thank you. Uh, the shame and stuff like that has to happen. Um, first thing uh, <clears throat> we'd like to—we have an announcement about a, a fall special town meeting is October 24th at seven o'clock at the Pembroke High School, 80 Learning Lane. Um, really hoping to get a good crowd there so that we can get a quorum to uh, take care of our fall business. So October 24th, seven o'clock at the Pembroke High School. Uh, first thing up on the. Board of Action items is uh, Treasurer's recommendation to accept possible ID C554 and D544 Monroe Street uh, tax possession property. Mr. Chairman, I would move that we uh, take the recommendation of the Town Treasurer and accept possible uh, C554 and D544 on Monroe Street as tax title possession. Second. Any questions or concerns? Having none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? That will be four to zero. Uh, Next thing on the agenda is the uh, to approve uh, refinance, refinancing of a 40B property at 5 Freedom Circle, request by Anna Van Holton. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, we're in receipt of a letter from a homeowner uh, of an affordable property on Freedom Circle, and they are requesting the selectman's approval to refinance the property. They have followed all of the rules required uh, from the uh, uh, Boston Office of Affordable Housing, and so therefore, I would recommend that we uh, approve the request to refinance the affordable property on Freedom Circle. Second. Anybody have any questions and concerns? I think, I think that we did have some questions and concerns earlier, and we, uh, we got our answers for that, that uh, this will stay an affordable housing unit for Pembroke, so it won't be, it won't come out of um, our percentage. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? That would be four. Uh, let's see. We want to vote the recommendation on article warrants uh, 1, 7, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, 
on moderators to uh, even Dodge has requested that the board use a take no action or in place of the indefinite postponement. Um, what's the pleasure on Article 1? Mike, are you here for this? Yeah, if you have any questions, sure. town administrator and I and the department heads have worked together to come up with a plan um, where we funded most but not all of the department's capital requests and in particular we did not fund uh, recommending funding a, at this time a pumper truck for the fire department that is going to have to be on the radar in the near future um, library passed up a few things, um, but for the most part, we're able to fund everything that is um, essential and critical right now. And our overall goal in this whole thing was to take care of business by funding last year's snow deficit, putting away money to fund our future liabilities, about $300,000, and saving at least $500,000 $500, in free cash for next year's budget. We were able to do that. So these have your recommendation, the ones that are being funded out of overlay surplus, free cash, borrowing, and um, water surplus? Correct. Yep. We were able to limit it to two borrowing items for the maturity of 10 years. We could fit those in, but uh, anything else would increase that debt level um, to where we didn't want it. Mike, I think I'd speak to the board and I say thank you for this hard work. I know mean, you've done a very prudent job putting on money in really savings accounts and then spending it on the necessities. Many of the departments had to give up stuff, but I felt that this is a really well drafted compromise between all parties. So thank you. Good. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if there are no other questions on Article 1 from the board, I would recommend favorable action. Second. Questions or concerns? <coughs> concerns? Hearing none. All those in favor of Article 1 is written here. All right. Aye. Yes. Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? The ayes have it. It needs a two thirds vote, and on 12 4 is in favor. Um, you don't want to. Um, I seem to always forget on the first part of the night here, but uh, please note that this meeting is being uh, made available to the public through a live video and audio broadcast on Camcast, Camcast Government Access Channel number 15 is being recorded for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Okay. Pleasure on Article 2. Seven. Did you say 7? <coughs> Article 7, excuse me. Pleasure on Article 7. I didn't believe the police chief was here to uh, speak on it. If I must. Good evening. Well, it's always good, good to evening. see you, Chief. So, my understanding, and, and this is similar to the article that we had tried to push forward earlier, uh, it's kind of the 2.0 version. Uh, it's not going to restrict anybody's birthday parties or anything else, but the town has a noise bylaw and a parking bylaw. And when people want to have something that may infringe on both of those, right now we're going to enforce them. Uh, if the board wants to authorize uh, some of these events, which we do, road races, block parties, all the things that we typically do, it gives the public safety uh, the ability to kind of plan ahead, make sure we have staffing and, and we take care of some of the logistics. Uh, this is the mechanics to make that happen. 
So it's a, a pretty simple bylaw, and it's exactly what we're doing right now. Only this codifies it. Okay, so we're not infringing on um, people having a large family barbecue and that kind of thing? Nope, not at all. Not at all. You know, when you, you take a look at some of the things, I mean, we, we do um, road races, there, there are car shows, uh, block parties when they want to close down the street and everything else. And, you know, those kind of things we don't have any issues with, but it's nice to know public safety wise for police and fire DPW to know that um, we, you know, put that information out and that um, if there's medical emergencies, you know how to work around that. And uh, if there's any concerns, we're, we're able to address them ahead of time. Well, thanks for coming in, Chief. I think this is a very good bylaw. As Arthur mentioned, it not only doesn't restrict people's rights, it actually increases them, allows us to suspend parking restrictions and noise restrictions and help us plan for that. So I, I'm in support of it. Great. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if there are no other uh, questions from the board, I would recommend favorable action on Article 7. Second. <coughs> You have a motion and a second. Is there any other comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Yeah. Approve favorable action for Article 7. We probably have some questions on town hall to achieve, but I'm sure. Yeah. From the last meeting that we had, they, um, you know, there was a lot of questions about it and didn't pass it, so maybe you could explain it to, to the public that is not listening tonight. Um, Article 12. I can speak on Article 12 if you like. Uh, we just had a uh, public safety buildings meeting and um, we can withdraw this article from the, uh, from the town meeting. We've been informed that we're going to have some time at the beginning of the meeting to do an informational uh, couple of minutes and present what the studies actually uh, have shown us and, and we're going to do that we're going to put, present some information over the website and uh, so we don't need article 12 if you want to withdraw it we're good okay okay uh, mr chairman uh, does any other questions for the chief i think he's explained what they're going to do i would recommend uh, that we with the, that article 12 is withdrawn from the warrant Second. Questions or concerns? Hearing none, all those in favor of withdrawing Article 12? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Four, Article 13. This was submitted by the DPW commissioners. Uh, I don't see them yet. <coughs> uh, Mr. Chairman, there was a question that was raised last week that Article 13 may be withdrawn uh, and they would speak at the town meeting about what the project is all about, but we don't have anybody here from the DPW and I don't, could ask Sabrina if she had a comment on this. No, they were planning to meet, they had a meeting this evening and they were going to discuss it, but they have not made a decision about withdrawing it from the line. Well, I think out of respect for the Commissioners, we should leave it on there and let it go to town meeting floor. Okay. I make that as a motion. Sure. Second. So, any questions or concerns regarding leaving it for a town meeting floor? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have one question. Okay. Mr. Buckley, is there any way we could afford this? No. <laughs> um, <coughs> the short answer is no. Uh, the only way we can afford it is with a debt exclusion override, and we do not have an election scheduled, to the best of my knowledge, until next May. So um, we cannot afford to borrow ten million dollars right now. We could even buy the fire pump for six million. So. All right, thank you. Okay. Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, that all those in favor of putting this off to town meeting floor. 
Say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Yeah, I shall so we'll put it off the town meeting floor and let the DBW explain it. And they may withdraw it at town meeting floor. I think they're in the same ballpark that they want to get up and give a presentation about this, the same as uh, I believe both the police and fire. Yes. Article 14. Fine, well, lucky day. <laughs> so, Article 14 <coughs> is to uh, hire two full time police officers. Um, I actually have, I would like to strike the very last sentence under the explanation, the estimated cost and salary benefits, because I'm going to be able to take it out of my current budget. So I'm not going to be asking for any funds. Um, but I'm not sure if we have to fulfill the town bylaw for new full-time additions must be submitted under a special article for consideration of approval of town meeting for prior to appropriating and transferring funds thereof. So I'm not sure if that needs to be satisfied with the money's already in the budget, but I don't want to give them back. So I want to make sure we do it right. So we can strike the very last sentence under estimated cost for salary and benefits uh, and we'll take it out of my present salary uh, budget. Mike, you're all right with this? Sounds good. Well, heaven knows we need them. And um, I would move the uh, recommendation of the police chief. Second. Yeah, so that would be removing your favorite time. Yeah. It would be removing last sentence uh, on article 14 and the uh, selectmen uh, recommend a favorable action any questions or comments hearing none all those in favor hi anybody opposed thank you very much four, four. thank you thank you <laughs> Article 15. This, this article was submitted by the Recreation Commission. They just would like the flexibility of um, hiring a laborer, whether full-time or part-time. So they'd like to strike the description part-time and this doesn't add any money to any budget. Uh, that would be a sep funding would be a separate issue. But if they need to have someone 35, 40 hours during the summer and only five, 10 hours in the winter, they want the flexibility. Mike, I got a quick question for you. Why would a title restrict them from doing anything? You need two things, as we saw with the police department. You need um, funding, and then you need permission to. Um, Fill that position. So, if you needed to have somebody on a, a full-time basis, even temporarily, and the description was part-time, there are those. I'm not one of them, but there are those who would say you couldn't do it. So, Rec wanted to um, just clarify that, just in case there was a changing of the guard and they ran into a problem there. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any questions or concerns? Have a recommendation, uh, Mr. Chairman. I would move favorable action on Article 15. Second. Hearing no other concerns, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, anybody opposed? Before, uh, okay. Sign a special town meeting warrant. And we can do that. to vote accept the minutes of September 25th. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would uh, move that the Board of Selectmen accept the minutes of September 25th, 2017 as written. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Actually, uh, a little bit behind here. Uh, Christopher Graham was going to be here. 
I mean, he's not here. And I don't see him. It's 20 past. So we'll continue on. Um, actually, the. See, we have old business. Anybody have any old business? Mr. Chairman, I have one thing under old business. Yep. So, a little while back, we had the DPW commissioners in here telling us that they have these parcels in the roads that they are struggling to afford to maintain. And Arthur and I actually came up with a plan to try to allow the Chambers of Commerce to help maintain those and they can put up their signs to offset some of the costs. And I've been working with Ed and Sabrina and we're on, or on track with that. And he's making progress. Okay. Um, so is there anything you can report tonight about uh, where you are on it? <laughs> We have a list, and we're narrowing it down. Narrowing it down. Okay. It's probably something that'll be set for the spring because you won't be banging signs into the uh, into the cold earth during the winter. But yeah. the timing is, you know, it's perfect to come into the spring with the uh, opportunity to do that. And I think Matthew's got um, the uh, the track that he's on to get the um, merchants to participate. They're um, they're clearly interested, so I think we're um, with there for ninety percent of the way. Good. So we're gonna be making a report soon. As a, are you just gonna let us know when you want to take them back on to talk about that again? Or? Hopefully, I have something by next week. Oh, that's soon. Okay. Good. So we'll put that on for next week then. Uh, 16? Yes. Be a week? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Oh, two weeks, yeah. No problem. So I'll give it another week. So. Uh, well, we're still in the uh, old business. Yes. Um, Sabrina, I had asked last week, and I know it was a hectic week, so I, I can understand if it's not ready. But we were um, inquiring about the uh, cost thus far for the attorneys. Uh, time and expenses vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Board of Health issue. Uh, that number is being developed. It takes a little more detail right. to drill down into each one of the bills over time to break out what are real costs versus overall yeah. costs. We had broken the $20,000 mark some time ago. That's so. true. That is true. So I'll definitely have more information for you in the week. Great. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, just to comment on what Arthur's question was, reminds me of Arthur's statement a long time ago about that issue, that it'll be 25,000 before you know it. Yeah, and I think you were, were there. I think you were <laughs> right on. Yeah, experience will tell you some things along the way. <coughs> so, um, Unfortunately, Ed had to leave. Um, he had some uh, family sickness, and so he's not here tonight to give the town administrator's report. But did he give you anything, uh, Lou, to, to bring up and discuss? No, no, okay. did not. So we'll put that off for a couple of weeks. Um, is there anything for us, the selectman? Is there any new business? Uh, there's some upcoming issues. Um, October 10th, we're going to post the warrant. October 16th, a uh, joint meeting between the town moderator, advisory committee, uh, in regard to the special town meeting. October 24th, there'll be is the fall special town meeting, and to be announced, a quarterly meeting with the advisory committee will be coming up in the future. Um, is there a need to go into executive session? Uh, yes, there is, Mr. Chairman. I would move that the board go into executive session to comply with or uh, act under the authority of Mass General Law Chapter 41, Section 111F, Police Department. Okay, and I'm sure that somewhere in there that the uh, chairman has to declare. <laughs> I so declare. 
Do we also have something from the uh, one of the bargaining units? That's been canceled. It's been uh, put off. Okay. Okay, all those in favor of going on the executive order? Aye. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah, I say yes. So that will uh, conclude tonight's meeting um, of October 2nd, and we'll be going on an executive session. We will not be coming back out to uh, make any votes or um, uh, decisions in the public. So um, we will see you in two weeks. So I hope you have a good night and uh, 